Bella. <laughs> it's so great to have you back in the studio. And we're back from our trip. I'm so excited. We had a wonderful time. I'm going to share my, I'm going to flip through um, my journal with you, give you a little traipse and see what you think. Um, I'm, as always, so grateful for your viewership and uh, thank you for all your thumbs up, your likes, all, you know, your shares and your comments. I love hearing from you. And um, so I'm going to show you what this looks like inside. Okay, so the cover has changed quite a bit since you saw it last. Uh, the gorgeous ribbon that I had that matched it so perfectly and so beautifully just did not hold up. And I hope you can see this uh, really clearly. The uh, little strands are metal, and so they really started to uh, just come completely apart with use. And so I abandoned that and went for this uh, rayon. And um, actually, the rayon isn't holding up real well. I really beat up my travel journals. I just work on them and throw them around and everything, and so they get a little bit banged up. I also redid the cover because I just didn't care for the other one. Um, it just didn't work out for me. So I kind of redid a whole bunch of things once I got back. Um, and while I was gone, I'd made a couple of changes too. So I'm going to share with you those things now. First of all, the pockets worked out so well. I am just absolutely thrilled um, at how the pockets worked and um, I got all kinds of wonderful little evidences of travel and as you can see I'm gonna have to glue this down just a little bit more um, so um, my wonderful friend Kirsten we visited Kirsten uh, loser and uh, Bjarne in Cle uh, Cleveland in uh, Denmark and this is one of her cards this is another one of her cards um, card from a restaurant and then this was a little um, uh, a cocktail napkin which I thought was really cool really fun so I had to have that so all my evidence in there and then of course here the little tiny uh, diaper fold pockets worked out quite well too these are little tokens transport tokens from the metro and um, little baggage claim tokens um, so that was just wonderful and uh, then if you remember I, I wanted to put the tissue paper down and um, and that worked out well and um, I really like the way it looked um, um, over the Denmark map, which I added to the very first page. So this would have been the first blank page you saw last time. And so I just put the Denmark page in and then the, uh, of course this blank was already there. And then I added these two antique um, Danish stamps on here and I just love the way it looks. Um, the, the map came from an old book. It was a, an antique travel book and um, it just fit perfectly in here. I just <laughs> love how when I cut it out it was just a perfect page. So then I made notes um, and uh, talked about our trip and then this piece here um, maybe I can turn it around here so you can see it. There's a piece I got from uh, Meg who represents me in Essentials and, and uh, 142 Bis in Fort Collins. And I just love this piece and it had the owl with the crown. So I had to just poke that in there. Um, I thought it just was just fit so perfectly. And then uh, a little restaurant we went to, another restaurant which was fabulous in Copenhagen called Tremonto. It's a rooftop bar. It was just wonderful. Had, had a great time in Copenhagen. It was rainy wherever we went. Um, if you followed us on Facebook, you know you saw the pictures where we were in the rain everywhere we, we went to. Um, and then we uh, went to see our friends, um, Kirsten and Bjarnen, and uh, we went to the Aros experience, which was actually like walking into a long rainbow. It was just amazing. You just go in this huge circle on this rooftop terrace, and um, it's just incredible. Um, then we went to a couple of other wonderful places too, um, a museum that takes you to um, 1864, 1927, and 1974. It was uh, really fabulous and I'll probably murder this by saying uh, uh, Dem 
Gamuel Bui, I think, maybe. It's sort of close. At least I made an, an effort, right? Uh, if Kirsten, if you're listening, I hope you had a good laugh over that one. Um, so, um, and then this is uh, my friend uh, Kirsten's um, wonderful shop. It's an antique carriage um, house and um, just fabulous things. She's gifted me with so many pretty things and um, we just loved it. It was just a fabulous place. Um, anyway, so these are a couple of um, collages that I did while we were there. This one and then this one, which I really like, and this one on Copenhagen. Um, I just, I really liked the vibe there. It was really cool. <clears throat> and then I had to include the maps. So I made a fold out so I could see front and back all the different places we went to both places, which I really liked the way they came out. And I only did one sketch. Um, I just did this one of the botanical gardens. Um, so I liked the way it turned out. I just didn't have a lot of time. We were traveling so much. So I did this one sketch. I didn't have a lot of time for sketching, so this is kind of in my homage to um, Inktober. Um, so it is Inktense pencils and uh, pen and ink. Restaurant that we visited, the Olive, absolutely yummy, fabulous, really enjoyed it. And um, little uh, tab here, just you know how I like to obscure text. It's just so fun to have little pieces of papers that cover things. This is a little collage that I did. I brought a bunch of old bits with me and some new papers and then this uh, antique Danish stamp. And then now we're in London. So we went to the British Museum and this is a collage that I did uh, about the British Museum. Um, and um, then we went to uh, the Tate and we had the best time there um, and this is a, a collage my homage to uh, John Singer Sargent. All right we saw the Turner collection at the Tate Britain and uh, it was just spectacular. I really love Turner. Um, just um, so uh, so many layers just so magical uh, so atmospheric his work was he was crazy but his work was fabulous and uh, just loved it and uh, I'll come back to this uh, n soon but right now I wanted to tell you that we also saw Henry Moore and the Moors were uh, incredible and if you followed us on Facebook then you got to see all of these different shots uh, I posted as many as I could uh, and we went to Oxford for the day and uh, I picked up the um, Oxford uh, Modern Museum of Art there and uh, Kiki Smith um, was going to be there um, the next day so we actually missed her by one day but I had to put it in here anyway to remind me that I missed it and uh, now she's on my list now I have to track her down and find her and go visit okay so continuing with London um, we went to uh, this uh, fabulous, well we went to the, Br the British Museum which um, wasn't on my list, it was on Don's list and um, I don't think that either one of us were that crazy about it but we did go to Dennis Sever's house with our dear friend uh, Joe Archer and we had the most fabulous time, well at least I did, I thought it was just spectacular and this is the front of the house um, and the windows and the door um, and this vine is grown all the way up here and over the land by now since this picture was taken it was unbelievable um, you're gonna have to google it and uh, watch it on YouTube too uh, so just some collage bits that I posted in here our day at in Oxford um, this really great restaurant they took really good care of me called keepers um, because they have uh, honey uh, they're beekeepers too um, and then uh, just the, the Severs house was just absolutely incredible and amazing. Um, I hope you go online and take a look at it. It's uh, It defies description. It's kind of a museum, uh, performance art. Um, it's strange, it's creepy, it's magnificent. It's just really wonderful. Okay, and then back, um, that little gusseted envelope worked out really well so I can put little business cards and things in there. And then, um, of course, we had to have the uh, 
the map to Oxford to remember all the different places that we went to. And that fit perfectly in here. I cut it down and it just fit so nicely. And then of course, the um, these are more tokens, transportation tokens. And then of course in London, we had to go to Grom because I am, um, uh, you know, a celiac. So we had to go to Grom and have gelato and it was, it's the best gelato ever. And they have everything, cookies, um, cones. I mean, it's just, um, and, and it's absolutely delicious. Don, Don even loves it. So. And then I think this is my room key that I forgot to give back, but it's evidence of travel too, so it's mine forever now. The very last page is traveling. It leaves you speechless, then it turns you into a storyteller. So I want to thank you for listening to my story about my travels, and I hope you enjoyed looking at my uh, chunky, uh, fat travel journal that I made out of a couple of books called a lap it's called a mini lap book and i absolutely love the way it turned out while well, we're at chow for now i can't believe it it always goes by time just flies when i'm with you guys and uh next time we're going to either do a uh either a project or we're going to do some kind of technique. I don't know yet. I'll be surprised and you'll be surprised and we'll have a great time, but we're definitely going to do more art. Um, thanks for following the journal on my mini book, uh, my mini lap book. I loved it. I had a great time with it. I'm going to make more and I hope you do too. And if you do, make sure you tag me. Um, I love to see what you create. So thanks again. Ciao for now.